So hello everybody, I am back from Crystal Hall in Baku with... With Oit Lepland from Estonia, hello. Hello. Uh, most Norwegians don't know very much about you. Uh, could you just say something about your musical background so we get to know you a bit? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> well, yes, actually I'm a singer in Estonia and uh, I have released uh, two albums and I have uh, entered a couple of, um, of, of competitions that took place in Estonia that were a few years ago, Estonian Idol and, and the, the other show was, was called the capital city, the, the singing capital city of Estonia. I have been very fortunate, you know, I, I wish I, I didn't have to mention that, but mm -hmm. I was very fortunate to have won those competitions, but don't put that in. Oh, okay, I'll uh, take it out. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, uh, but <laughs> yes, uh, the, the most important thing is that um, that I, I have released two albums in mm -hmm. Estonia, so uh, so it's been it's been it's been going up hills for me. Yeah. Back home. Uh, are you going to release the the albums in Europe? Well, it's I hope to. Yeah. yeah it's, but I, I believe it, it depends it, it depends very much of the fact how I will do here. Mm. You know, but the most important thing for me is is to get a good performance in here. Yeah. So um, it's it's not the I don't I don't. I don't think about. I try not to think about the, the final position of mm. the of Estonian song. But for me, the, moment, the, the main goal is, is to get a is to get a good performance and uh, and and to represent my country with uh, with dignity <laughs> and with honor. That sounds very good. So, talking about performance, you just came from your second rehearsals. Yep. How did yeah. it go? Oh, it, it went well. Um, actually. Um, Talking about the first rehearsal, which took place on Wednesday, yeah. I have to say I have to mention uh, that uh, I have to be honest. I have to mention that I was a little bit nervous mm -hmm. because it's you know it's it's I've never been performed on such a big stage before. It's huge. It's, it's very yeah. it's, it's a huge stage, and um, but but when I was on the stage and and you know the song started to sound from the from the ear monitors, then I felt great and the sound was great mm -hmm. and. Um, and I believe that the second rehearsal for me, it went even better than the first one. So I, uh, I just, um, I just hope to. Uh, I'm very anxious, and I'm waiting for the third rehearsal with the, with the crowd in the hall. Yeah. So it's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious. I'm anxious. It's going to show a bit more how it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you don't just sing this song; you also composed it. Yep. Yeah. Do yeah. you write a lot of music? Well, yeah, I try to, you know, but but for me, writing the music is not like I'm, I'm now I'm going to sit on a piano and start writing it. Mm. Uh, writing music for me comes like spontaneously. For example, when I I drive with a car, when I'm sitting in a bus or in a plane, or I'm just watching TV or, or reading some kind of interesting book, you know, and, and suddenly it snaps like you know there's some kind of musical idea comes to my mind, and I and then I will like rec record it with my with my phone. So. So this song was actually born at the, you know the same way I was I was uh, I was uh, sitting in a drum class uh, <laughs> in um, in Tallinn uh, Music College when the idea came for the song it was about like two years ago a little bit less than two years ago and and at first you know when the song came to my mind I thought you know this is no no this is too soft for me you know, this is, uh, I'm not gonna sing that you know some women should sing that song but. But um, after I performed it, you know, to my friends, to my closest friends, they said, you know, why are you kidding, man? You know, this, you should perform it yourself. You know, it's, just, it's, you know, the song comes from you, and you know, you sing it the, you know, you sing it the best. Mm. It's, it's, um, so that's why I decided to, to, uh, to sing it myself. And yeah. you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that, um, that I made that decision. So. Yeah. So are we. <laughs> uh, so you say this is too soft for you? Well, no, normally um, you normally well, have. Well, no, no, it's it's uh, no, no, not actually. It's it's uh, you know, it was it was the first, you know, thing that came into my mind yeah. at that moment when I wrote the song yeah. that it's assault. But after I, you know, I listened to it, then you know, I, I started realizing you know, it's it might not be that soft. Mm. So it's it's basically um, uh, it's 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 the kind of music that I do in Estonia. You know, I've I have uh, other songs that 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 sound you know not like that, but but. But also, I have I have uh, other ballads mm. in Estonia, so. Yeah. But uh, but with a different tempo. Yeah. Uh, 
people might not know, I didn't know before I got here, but you recorded this song in four different languages? Yes. Which languages? Uh, it was uh, it was recorded initially at the beginning, we, we recorded in Estonian. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and after after the uh, the Estonian Eurovision Song Contest ended, mm -hmm. called Esti Laul, uh, then, you know, me and my manager, you know, we, we were discussing about, you know, since the language is in Estonian, and, um, and like 99 of percent of the viewers do not understand what's you know what's the song about yeah then we decided to uh, to uh, publish the song in, in Russian in, in Spanish and in English so uh, do you speak these other languages uh, no none of them oh, oh no I speak English yeah of yeah, course I speak but English and Estonian Russian but, and Spanish uh, but, but not no not Russian and Spanish no, no because no. I talked to I people, wish I could I, I wish I could I've talked to people that say you don't have an accent not ah. even in the Spanish version. Okay. It sounds Spanish. Oh, okay. So, so I've, we thought I've, maybe I've, you uh, did. You know, when I was a kid, I I uh, I, I watched a lot of uh, Mexican soap operas and stuff like that. So, <laughs> so that's where you got your you Spanish accent. You know, that's accent. That, that's the main thing. Why? <laughs> and and of course, uh, the Russian culture in Estonia is uh, is pretty big. So uh, yeah. I don't speak Russian, but you know, but but I I know what it sounds like. So mm. so maybe that was the reason. Yeah. Uh, I got this question that I ask everyone. Uh, if you were to make a cover of any of the other entries this year, ah, which would, would it be? It's very clever. It's very clever. It's okay. It's very clever. So uh, otherwise, you are you're, you're basically you're asking asking me what's my favorite song this year. No, which one do you think you could do the best? I guess I'm asking. Um, which one would you like to do? I don't. Know. Basically, I think all of the songs are great. This year. You know, I'm, 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 you know, sincerely, I'm talking from the bottom of the heart. No. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Because, you know, my musical taste is very wide. And, you know, I'm listening to starting from the rap music and ending with the classical music. You know, I, I listen to all of the styles and all of the, all of the, you know, my, the taste of my music is, mm. is very wide. So, so I believe that we have... Um, in TCS competition, we have a lot of very strong songs, and even you guys, you guys have a very strong song. So, uh, Thank you. It's, um, uh, but you're not going to talk yourself out of this. Which one would you do okay. a cover of? Well, maybe vocally speaking, I think that the most, um, maybe the, the song that maybe would fit for me uh, vocally would be uh, the song uh, sang by Engelbert Humperdinck. So uh, maybe. So an English waltz. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe this would be the okay, one. Okay, I can picture that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He says I have to stop talking now. So yeah. yeah. Would Thanks you like to speak more? Oh yes, absolutely. So what do you want? Okay. <laughs> oh, I like her. <laughs> yeah, I like her too. That's why I want to speak with her right now myself. <laughs> Sorry, another lady calling. <laughs> okay, he kept out. Yeah. He kept out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, okay, you, he, let's he let's left. let's go on. Let's go on. Okay, so uh, now you said you think you could do Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> uh, which is your favorite? Uh, well, I must say, you know, you know, I, I, you know, if I told me what's my favorite, I, I had have to, you know, start to, you know, the same thing all over again. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's because you like all kinds of music. Yeah, so, yeah. I like you, you definitely. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm being diplomatic. You know, I don't want to <laughs> yeah, say. Yeah, very good at it. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to say. You know, what's my favorite? I'm keeping it to myself. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, but basically, I love all the songs. I think it's it's the, the, the variations of the songs this year are very different. So it's mm. uh, it's just very interesting. I think that's why we love the contest so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's good. Uh, the Estonian preselection is viewed by the fans as uh, very good. I think it's because a lot of uh, renowned names uh, take part. Mm -hmm. Would you say that Eurovision is uh, respected in uh, Estonia? Yeah, it's very respected and it's very popular in Estonia. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's basically one of the, the biggest TV events, uh, you know, during the year. Yeah. So definitely an Estonian people are like, you know, the Esti Laul, it's called Esti Laul, it means Estonian song, mm. um, and it's very popular in Estonia, yeah. and uh, so, uh, yeah, 
Yes. Because mm. <laughs> in a lot of other countries, you see that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the famous successful artists don't want to participate. Uh -huh. It's like they think it's going to ruin their career. Well, yes, well, actually, in Estonia, Esti Laul, or the Estonian song, as we call it in Estonia, it's uh, it's it's a very good jumping board for uh, for uh, you know new artists mm. who are not you know like who are not famous in Estonia yet, and it's a uh, and it's it's a very very good uh, TV show to. Um, it's it's a good show, f you know, just to you know, just to, to show yourself to mm. the Estonian people, you know, if you are if you're a newcomer, yeah. and uh, if, if no one knows your your uh, your songs and stuff like so, it's it's um, it's it's a good jumping board for right. for young artists as well. Uh, but yeah, it's it's like it's 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 you know, it's it's more of a, a mixed thing in Estonia. The the famous artists are performing, and and not so famous artists are performing as well. So. And the younger artists are performing in uh, Esti Laul, so it's a, it's it's a, it's a popular event, and um, and and some of the very popular bands are have have uh, have come from uh, from from this competition. Yeah, and you also have this broad specter of different kinds of songs. Yeah, different yeah. music. and I th I believe it's it's <laughs> okay. It's, he's, it's a positive thing. He's looking dangerous now. <laughs> <laughs> but one last thing though, what's your plans after Eurovision? My plans. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, after you won it. I don't think about it. <laughs> I don't think. Well, yes, uh, we'll may, um, yeah, um, after Eurovision, I'm planning to um, take, uh, you know, to take my time off mm -hmm. a little bit, just to get, you know, a week, just to rest for a week. Yeah. And, and then you're going to learn Norwegian, so you can sing it. Yeah, uh, yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes, and then um, you know, for the week that I'm that I'm resting, I'm learning Norwegian. Yeah. And after that, I'm gonna go to the studio and I'm gonna, you know, sing the song in Norwegian. Yeah. And um, and then I will come touring around Norway. Yeah. After that, so. And then you have to send me the link to the Norwegian version. Yes, I'll, I definitely will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Thanks a lot for talking to us. Thank you. It's Thank been you. great. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.